now there is a strange type of field known as magnetic field so we view magnetic field in such a way so that you know there is a permanent magnet if there is a permanent magnet so it has got a north pole and a south pole so it's a magnetic needle this is the north pole and the south pole and magnetic field is such a field so that this magnetic needle points in the direction of the field b so you uh, denote this magnetic field by b and it has the asi unit of tesla abbreviated as t okay so it is uh, similar to the electric forces or this this is a magnetic dipole rather this is a magnetic dipole and the forces are similar to the electrical counterpart now if you have an electric dipole let's see what happens this is like it so this is plus q and minus q and this will point in the direction of the electric field e it can be opposite to the field but that's not stable equilibrium same for the magnet also see even if this so if there is uh, say this is like this minus uh, plus q and minus q and this is a field so there will be a torque acting on this dipole and so it will try to rotate and align itself in the direction of the electric field e so it will oscillate about this to and fro after that it damps out and this is the stable configuration for the magnetic dipole this uh, that that means the magnetic needle having this north pole and the south pole it means the same thing that means if you keep the magnetic dipole like this in a magnetic field b then it will experience a torque and it will rotate about this to and fro until it damps out and it gains a stable configuration which is in the direction of the magnetic field b so we can view magnetic field in such a way that so how do you view the electric field so say if you have a a charge like this q so the force on the charge the force on charge q is equal to q times e similarly you can write force on the pole see then you have you are actually accepting a monopole like this so this is a pole having a strength plus m this is having minus m so if m is the pole strength suppose something like the monopole exists as in case of charges so we can write this f is equal to m times b this m the pole strength is also known as magnetic charge but the main thing is that in nature no one has still found a monopole so no isolated monopole as such has been found to exist in nature so this magnet occurs in dipoles so it's a combination of plus m and minus m however we uh, need to know the direction of the force so if you have a north pole direction of the force on this north pole if you have a north pole at all then direction of the force is this way. so it explains the direction of the torque but in reality there are no monopoles found till now so we have actually drawn a similarity between the electric dipole and the magnetic dipole here there are more uh, strange characteristics of okay by the way this if there is a current carrying wire like this and so the magnetic field surrounding the wire is like this it has been experimentally seen that these are the directions of the magnetic field 
so i think you can guess what i'm trying to say that if you look from the top so let's draw the top view just beside it so the current carrying wire looks like a dot and the magnetic fields are these concentric circles with this wire as the axis so these are the magnetic field lines b now uh, this has been verified experimentally because if you keep a magnetic needle here it will behave in this way see this magnetic needle pointing north here and south here when it's in equilibrium so it turns around here and there it oscillates after it dampens this is the stable configuration of the magnetic needles so here also like this north pole here and south pole here all are these small magnetic needles their direction from south to north is same as that of the direction of the magnetic field b at that location now this magnetic field b it exerts strange force on moving charges only on static charges it will experience no force but it will experience uh, or uh, sorry moving charges will experience a force in magnetic field and from that only we define quantitatively the magnetic field so force on moving charges in magnetic field so it's like this suppose a charge a charge q moving with a velocity v in a magnetic field b experiences a magnetic force magnetic force f suffix m m for magnetic is equal to q into v cross b after the experiments this is the best way and only way we can represent the magnetic forces and magnetic fields so that means if you have a current carrying wire like this current dot means the wire the axis of the wire is perpendicular to the plane of this paper and current is coming outwards so if uh, say this is a positive point charge and let's find out where uh, the direction of the forces on this point charge as per the velocity say for this velocity say for this velocity and say for this velocity and another one and for this velocity what will be the direction of the magnetic field so these are all velocity vectors v for this different directions different cases now direction of the forces we will like to know so now what is the direction of the magnetic fields at this regions so you know magnetic fields are these concentric circles with the current as the axis and they follow the right hand thumb rule this is the right hand thumb rule we we'll go to this page previous page and direction of the magnetic field lines follow the right hand thumb rule that means the thumb point towards current and the fingers point towards the magnetic field lines okay. so this at this region this is a magnetic field b and let's let's see what are the forces on this charges 
see for this one obviously the force is zero because the cross product is zero and for that one this red one also the force is equal to zero for this purple one this is v this is b so v cross b see this is a positive charge q v cross b is downward so if this is the angle theta then the force is equal to q v b times sin theta direction is so cross cross means into the plane of the board uh, paper and for this case v cross b is upwards so this is 90 degree so f is equal to q v b into sin 90 so it's 1 okay. so these are the forces on moving charges in magnetic field now if the charge were negative charge then what would have happened then the forces would have reversed and that is the reason why the two current carrying wires see if there are two current carrying wires parallel current carrying wires carrying current in the same direction so this is i1 and this is i2 so after some time you will find that on or just just after the current is switched on suppose this is tightly gripped at these two locations and this can uh, change or deform this part so after the current flows you will find this will be the shape of the wire what does that mean because these wires attract each other with force definitely they will uh, there will be an attractive force between the current carrying wires now I will explain you why. See, according to the right hand thumb rule, due to this current carrying wire, see if you see this current carrying wire as a dot I1, this will be the magnetic field lines. So here at this location, magnetic field lines are cross. And all throughout cross in this side, cross in this side, and dot in this side. Now look at this current carrying wire I2. So current is equivalent to the motion of positive charges in this direction or it is the drift of negative charges in this direction. Let's take it that way only. Negative charges, so the electrons flowing in this direction, drift velocity is there. So now uh, V cross B is in which direction? This is the velocity of electrons. Let's give it VD, drift velocity. Okay. So uh, V cross B is in this direction. So as this is having negative charges, so the force will reverse. So this is a force on electrons. Uh, that means it is a force on this current carrying wire as the electrons are the moving uh, charges in that current carrying wire. So that means uh, there is magnetic force on a current carrying wire in a magnetic field also. Right?